All right, chapter two, homeostasis and allostasis. I don't need to tell you that I will do a multiple choice about this one. Now, the way that I did it, I have three different kinds of questions. I had the typical question. Everything is true about homeostasis except A, B, C, D, all of the above, none of the above. Obviously, I don't pass from the letter E. Always, I like to put the end, all of the above or none of the above in the last option. That's it. one question in referring homeostasis. The other one is a mix between allostasis, the next slide, and homeostasis. You need to be extremely careful. To some of you that don't understand the concept of select all of the apply, if you see a question in the quiz that says select all of the apply, it's because the question has more than one answer. And you ask me why you are doing that. It's because they are doing that in the core. If I don't prepare you for that, you will have the first nightmare reaching over there, obviously. Some silly questions and some silly answers. You can pick them if you study the slide. Meaning, I can do the second kind of question with this one. Homeostasis, everything is true except, and instead to put all of them homeostasis, I can scratch two and put two definitions that belong to the allostasis. And you need to select both letters. If you select only one letter, you will have the entire question wrong. It's all or nothing. And you ask me why? Because I already give you six bonus points just to watch this video to be here with me. Clear? Meaning careful with this because I know that so many people for some reason don't read the statement well. They don't never see the select over the apply and never select all the question correctly. But this, what I call a VIP slice because everybody will see something of homeostasis. Moving on to the next one. The same thing happens with this one, VIP, 404. Meaning I will ask them, if I will ask them, if you stop this, you will get that question right. No question about it. You will see it over there, okay? Moving on to the next one. Now, stress, I need to ask stress. Stress, there is a multiple choice, but that one is just in two or four. Remember, it's 30 questions. I, can, I don't have enough time to do a test of 300 like I was, uh, like to do. But obviously, I will be alone in the classroom in the second week, meaning, Make sure that you go through this one because somebody will see this one as a multiple choice. Very simple, multiple choice. Everything is true about the stress except. Yes, that is correct. That is correct, Mavelis. That is correct. Thank you. Thank you. You make me feel nice. <laughs> Again, careful with this one. Remember that the stress could be physical chemical or my specialty of the house, emotional factor. And that's what I want to create over here. And that's what I will do. Matt Damon, good for you, good for you. Remember that I can switch any word over there, anything. I can make the statement wrong. Okay, let's move on over here for the next one. The three stages, this one in particular is out. But careful with this one. I have something in one question. Is that true or false related to this one? Some people like to take the risk when I said that it's only one of four tests and then they don't study that one. But if you see it, don't blame me. But I did a question regarding this PowerPoint. I am playing with that definition. Careful. Moving to the next one. The resistance of adaptation, yes, there is a question for this one in two or four quizzes, and they are multiple choice. Okay, careful with the resistance of adaptation because it's an important 
of that nervous system and the endocrine system to put that body back to homeostasis in that equilibrium that we saw in the class, in some of the classes. Very important that if this patient cannot restore his homeostasis, that is the game over. And that's why the healthcare professional will try to help that person to achieve homeostasis and try to help that patient. Well, again, multiple choice, careful with this one. Forget about the questions, let's move on to the next one. Exhaustion, yes, there is one question regarding to the allostatic overload. This is a question that is old, very old. What I did is to twist the question a little bit, but it's basically the same one over there, meaning that just one test, we see this one, is a multiple choice. Basically, what I do, I pull all the definition from the other particular stages to create my multiple choice, meaning I do my test. I don't pull it out for any data bank. I create my own bank. That's why the people love me to that. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The stressors, yes, I have one. One question. Don't blame me. It's a multiple choice also. Ages or condition that can produce stress and danger homeostasis. Basically, I pull out all this over here and I create a multiple choice. For example, just to give you an example, everything over here is an age of stress or except, and then I take A, B, C, D, and then I will change something over there that will make the except. It is clear. I will say that this one three persons will see this one because I put that question enough in the in the different test. It's a multiple choice. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Uh, this one in particular not because I already asked you about the previous one. Forget about the answer of the questions over here. And because we already saw some risk factors already, I removed this one out. Catecholamine, careful over here. I love catecholamines. And we mentioned this one, why? Because we have our beautiful example, meaning catecholamines, those two bullets over there, somebody will see a true or false. The problem is when I have this particular question, is the question that I make the the quizzes different between themselves because only one quiz will have this question. Okay? Meaning careful with those definition over there is a true or false. Moving on to the next one. Out, because it's a question. Not epinephrine. This one, I didn't put it out, but I need to tell you, in the midterm, you can see this fellow. Meaning, right now, you don't need to see it, you don't need to study, but careful, because sometimes what I do, when I have, it will go a little bit further. When I have epinephrine, I like to substitute one of these bullets from one from here. Yeah, I am a master of these guys. Meaning, what is my suggestion over there? Or you learn epinephrine very well, to make sure that whatever I put over there belong or don't belong over there, or you study both to make sure that you will not mess up with that question. But again, this one in particular, no. But I will ask you this one in the midterm for sure. Now, what is coming, and this is what I call free alert, free alert, is a quiz question, is a quiz question. Freebie alert, freebie alert is a question in the test. Freebie alert, freebie alert is encrusted in the test. Meaning, you with this one and everybody will see it and it's a multiple choice. Careful, there is three different variants of the question. Yeah, I am a master of these guys. Again, careful, read well the question. One of the main problems that every healthcare professional possess is that they don't read properly. They don't read properly in the studies, they don't read properly in the medical record, they don't read properly in the label of the medication that you will give to that patient. 
That's why I do this test like this, to keep you in alert everything that is there. Okay? Getting careful with this one is a multiple choice. Moving on to the next one. Adrenocortical steroid, I decide to remove this one right now, meaning away. But cortisol, if this is another question VIP, 404, everybody will see this question. Again, every question is different, but it is the same topic. I am basically copy pasting and changing everything over there to do different kinds of questions of the same topic, but everybody will see cortisol, 404, okay? Moving on over there. Aldosterone, at this moment, I decide to leave it another day. And the reason for that is because I told you we will need to check the heart and the cardiovascular system and with the kidney that make more sense when we reach over there. Right now, we will not go through this one, but I need to tell you in the midterm is waiting for you. Dorphicencephaline, careful. There is a true or false of this one. There is a true or false of this one. The problem is it's just in one particular quiz. So four, to basically change something over there. Careful and make sure that you read that definition. Remember that your body is capable to block the pain signal to the brain to allow you to continue your work or whatever you are doing over there without paying attention to that pain. There is some particular sensations of pain that your body can manage. And the reason that the body can block those signals is because that pain in particular is not putting your body in danger. If it is a pain related to something that can put and jeopardize your life, that pain is impossible to stop. And continue over there, reaching to the brain with major intensity. Okay? Moving on over there. Immune cytokines, I have a question with this one. Two or four quizzes and a multiple choice. I put this question as an introduction for what we will see soon in the immune system. And that is good to start to know what else is a macrophages and how the immune system basically responds over there, okay? Careful with this one, exactly like that. I will include something over there in a multiple choice to try to trick you out a little bit. But is there, that is the question. Sex hormones, one question. Is that true or false? Careful with this one. I like to basically ask something about that, that affects the stress. I will try to change something in the true or false. Could be true, could be false, but make sure that you understand the concept very well, exactly like that. Again, I will base show you from where I will put my question and you have the answer. Still, see, you don't understand the question well or the concept well, that's why you have your textbook. And still, in the textbook, you understand that it's still fusing your mind. Send me the test message, send me the email. Yeah, I will be more than glad to explain back to you, okay? But again, these particular topics, believe it or not, we will see them again in the middle of the term. There's basically an introduction to everything that we will see in the coming few weeks. But again, this is a true or false in one quiz. The growth hormone and prolactin, at this moment, I will ask them because we will reach a chapter that we will need to see those hormones again, very important from the pituitary system and all the adrenal system over there, endocrine system in general, meaning it's out. Oxytocin, careful. Because I did a couple of jokes with this one in some of the classes, I will ask this one. It's one of four. It's a multiple choice. Okay? Only one test, we will see this one. In adaptation, coping, and illness, this is the way how the human beings can respond to the form of stress over there. And obviously, the way that you respond to the stress will depend in all these particular factors. 
there is a multiple choice exactly like this, meaning one of four, multiple choice. I will change something on one of these options over here. Okay? Careful. Multiple choice. Adaptation, copying, adaptation, and copying. Basically, I have true or false with this one, especially with adaptation and copying. Careful with those two. Obviously, this is the kinds of question that I do. It's exactly what I said before to make difference between quizzes. Meaning, somebody will see the adaptation and somebody will see the copying. Okay? They are true or false, and some of them are multiple choice. Again, if there is a question or you think that I'm going too fast, or this is the way that you like to go, just let me know. But that's the reason that I am basically recording the session for you to see it again soon in YouTube. I will put in announcement the links in the YouTube. Uh, I think Alessandra already have some links for the old uh, recording that I did, but that is a recording that I basically I go directly to some things, but I prefer that at least chapter four, that is the next one. It's important to see it through this recording that I'm doing tonight. And adaptation method for the stress, habituation, we're not going with this one right now. It's out. Allostatic overload, careful with this one. I pulled this slide exactly like this in one test for a multiple choice. It's an old condition too. Careful, I basically break the sentences over there to do the multiple choice, but it's only one test of four. Allostatic overload, inadequate adaptation mechanism or excessive allostatic load. Basically, the body starts to lose the ability to maintain homeostasis over there because they cannot reach that equilibrium. Okay? Careful with that. And believe it or not, chapter two is gone. There is an interesting case at the end of the chapter. That's why I said to the guys to study the case by your side, but I will not ask you this one in the quiz or in the midterm. Help you out with the case study and the way how you're supposed to be doing the discussion because some people are making some operas of that video. When you are presenting a case in the discussion, more or less this is what I am looking for. Mr. BK, 50 years old, so on, so on, so on, and then they start the clinical history. And many students are basically are doing a good job. They basically take it immediately. Others need to improve a little bit the narrative because what I see is a lot of chi, a lot of his, a lot of chi, a lot of his, and look like a chi tree because so many times that they mention chi, 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 chi in a paragraph. But again, I will stop the recording because believe it or not, chapter